Hi, my name is Leslie Newman, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Passover, my favorite holiday, and then I'm going to read you from my book, Welcoming Elijah, A Passover Tale with a Tail. So, for those of you who may or may not know, um, Passover is an eight-day holiday. It's also called Pesach in Hebrew, and it is the Festival of Freedom, and it uh, commemorates the freeing of the Jewish people when they were slaves in Egypt in about uh, 1225 BC. I do have a little cheat sheet next to me, so that's why I'm looking over there. Okay, so um, during Passover, we only eat matzah instead of leavened bread. Oh, and this is this matzah is actually not for Passover, it says on the box. So I would not be eating this matzah on Passover, but it's all I have in the house at the moment. So matzah is flat bread, it's like a cracker. And the reason that we eat matzah is because the Jews had to leave Egypt in such a hurry, they did not have time to let the bread rise. Um, during Passover, um, on the first night, and some families also on the second night, 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 have a special dinner called a Seder, in which we tell the story of Passover. And it's a beautiful, beautiful dinner with lots of family and lots of friends and lots of rituals. So some of the things we do, we wash our hands several times during the meal. We drink four glasses of wine or grape juice and we sing songs and we open the door for Elijah, which was my favorite part of the Seder when I was growing up. So during the Seder, we have a special plate called the Seder plate on the table and I'm going to show you what we put on the Seder plate. So first we put some matzah, which I showed you before. So usually actually three pieces of matzah. The middle matzah is called the afikoman, which is a very special piece of matzah that gets hidden during the Seder and the children get to find the matzah. So that's a little um, uh, ritual that we have or tradition. We have a roasted shank bone on the plate. Now I don't happen to have a roasted shank bone, so I'm just going to use this twig as a substitute, a symbol for the shank bone, which is to symbolize the Paschal lamb. I'm putting things on my plate here, which you can't see at the moment. We have uh, salt water. So here is some water, and here is some salt that I put in the salt water, in the water to make it salt water, and that represents the tears of the um, bitterness of slavery. We have something, a dish made of apples and walnuts, which I'm not going to chop up right now, but I would chop this up and chop these up and combine them and put in some wine and some cinnamon, and that is called charoset, and that symbolizes the mortar that the Jews used to build the pyramids. That's going on my Seder plate. And then we have greens that represent spring, and during the Seder, we dip the greens into the uh, salt water. And then we have a roasted egg, which symbolizes spring. And then we have maror or horseradish, which is also um, bitter to show the bitterness of slavery. And then we have some families actually put an orange, a tiny little orange, a little clementine, on the Seder plate to show that all are welcome. So those are the things that are on the Seder plate. And then we have a glass of wine for Elijah. Elijah is the prophet that is expected to someday come and bring peace to the world. We often think that perhaps he'll come on Passover. And so I only have a little wine for him because he has to go to a lot of houses. Um, and then some people during their Seder, they also put a cup of water on the table for Miriam. And that is for uh, symbolizing the well, Miriam's well, which sustained the Jewish people because water, of course, is a source uh, for life. We all need water to live, water and wine. Okay, now, I am also a cat lover. And so I wrote a book about Passover called Welcoming Elijah, A Passover Tale with a Tail. This is also could be known as the world's shortest Haggadah because it has most of the steps to the Seder. So I'm going to read it to you. And as I read it, I will um, show the pictures. So Welcoming Elijah, 
Oops, and I hope I won't hit myself in the head. A Passover tale with a tale. Inside there was light, outside there was darkness. Maybe I'll do it this way. Inside it was warm, outside it was windy. Inside there was laughter, outside there was silence. Inside a boy hugged his family, outside a kitten sat alone. Can you see the kitten up in the tree? Inside the boy waited for the Seder to start. Outside the kitten waited for the moon to rise. Tonight would be different from all other nights. The boy knew this, the kitten did too. The Seder had many parts to it. The boy filled the prophet Elijah's cup and then sat down to wait for the part he loved best of all. Inside, candles glowed. Outside, stars twinkled. Inside, the boy drank grape juice. Outside, the kitten lapped at a puddle. Inside, the boy washed his hands. Outside, the kitten cleaned its paws. Still, the boy waited. Still, the kitten waited. Inside, the boy dipped parsley into salt water. Outside, the kitten chewed a wet blade of grass. Inside, the boy broke the middle matzah in half. Outside, the kitten split a twig in two. Is that working? Maybe that's working. Still trying to figure this out. Inside, the boy heard the tale of the Israelites leaving Egypt. Outside, the kitten heard leaves whispering in the trees. Still, the boy waited. Still, the kitten waited. Inside, the boy ate the festive Passover meal. Outside, the kitten ate nothing at all. Inside, the boy patted his full belly. Outside, the kitten swished its skinny tail. Inside, the boy sang songs of praise. Outside, the kitten mewled. Still, the boy waited. Still, the kitten waited. At last, one of the grown-ups said, let us now open the door to welcome the prophet Elijah who will one day bring peace to the world. Inside, the boy sprang up from his seat. Outside, the kitten scampered up the walk. A square of lamplight spilled onto the porch. A beam of moonlight shone into the hall. Inside, the boy looked outside. Outside, the kitten looked inside. Elijah? Meow. And that's how Elijah found a home. And that's the end of the story, but there is one more page I'm going to show you. So here is an author's note. And that explains some of the things I talked about, about the rituals of Passover. So I hope everyone has a wonderful Passover. We say have a Zis in Pesach, which means have a sweet Passover. And thank you for listening to my story.